Hello, it's Mike Kroger, Finale Inventory. In this short video, we're going to go over receiving shipments against a purchase order. So you've placed a purchase order to your supplier, you marked it committed, you emailed it to them, or you faxed it to them, or sent it to them, but now you need to receive that merchandise because that truck's backing up to your door. So let's show you how to do that. So let's jump over here to Finale, Finale home screen. We were going to look up the purchase order so we would go here to your purchase order now the purchase order that we walked through earlier it was the demo po so right here demo po is we created that one showing you how to create it so let's go ahead and receive it so when you look here on the purchase view screen you'll see that there's no received shipments against it so notice it is committed i could search for that po if i typed in demo just like that so it's an easy way to find them but um, another good thing to understand, we've committed the PO. Um, a, a PO doesn't have to be in committed state to receive a shipping against it, but normally you move it to committed because committing it is, is, a, is a change from the editable, which is draft, to committed, meaning it's on order. Also, moving a PO from editable to committed changes your stock availability. Okay, remember that. So let's go ahead and we're going to go in here and show you how to receive a, a shipment against this purchase order. So here you can see that we've got on order, so it's committed, it's on order in this PO. We've got 500 of yellow, 1,000 of red, and 1,500 of white. Well, let's take a look at our, at our inventory stock view. So if we go to inventory, I'm going to look for these ID cards. Do you see how this is our purchase order? So we look in the available column here. So the available is 1,000 red, 1,500 white, and 500 yellow. Where are those availabilities coming? Notice that we don't have any in stock here. So we don't have any in stock because we haven't received them yet. But if I expand this here, you're going to see the purchase order on this. That purchase order demo PO is going to bring in 1,000, which is why the availability is 1,000. But physically in the warehouse, nothing. Now you can see here, I further have shown you've got a thousand units on order, which is coming from this per, this demo PO. So if we look here, that demo PO is all, PO bringing some of the, the yellow cards in and the white cards in. So you can see that here. So let's go see how to receive the shipment and get this, this quantity on hand to go up. All right, so that's receiving a shipment. So if I go back to the purchase order, I also want to show you, if we click on this PO and we edit the purchase order, meaning we're going to take it out of committed state. See, we edit it. So it's now an editable. And this is the reason why you'd want to commit it, because you wouldn't know that you'd have those on order. You see how they don't show up here anymore? Because we that, that PO is in edit status. Okay, just a little tip. So I'm going to go back here, recommit this, so you can see the difference. Okay. So let's receive these in, receiving shipments. That's what you uh, want to know how to do. So let's go ahead and receive this PO. We're going to jump over here to purchase order. We're going to click on this purchase order. We're going to go to the shipment tab. So word of warning, mark purchase order completed. If I punch this button, it does not receive a shipment. It doesn't mean, hey, it's complete. We got everything. So all it does is mark the status completed. It doesn't receive any shipments. So just remember, this is the very last step. You only mark a purchase order complete when you've received everything. So I'm going to go to the shipment tab. So here you can see when you go to the shipment tab, you're going to get shipment ID number one. So you see it's always the PO number with a dash at the end. Your first shipment will be dash one. Notice it's editable. It's also giving you a big warning here. Shipment can't not be received since it's empty. Well, that's what we came here to do, is to tell the system how many we did receive. So if you received everything on the order down here, so if we received all 1,000, all 1,500, all 500, I just simply hit Update Shipment to match the order. Now notice the system automatically put 1,000, 1,500, and 500 just said, hey, update it to match the order. Now also the system kind of defaulted and put a warehouse location. Now if you're using just the, the demo account or if you've just set up your account, you may only have one location and it may be M0. But here is where you can actually tell it to go to different locations. So if we wanted to receive it into um, 
uh, a different location, like this one's going into A1, maybe this one's into a different location. Well, this is where you would type in your other locations and say, well, maybe we're going to see this into 3. And then maybe we would receive this one into, a, into 5. Okay, so that's all about your sublocations and how you set your warehouses up. So now you can see how you adjust not only how many you receive, but where you receive it. Okay, so now once you've put in quantity seal, you'll notice that you now get these buttons. So if you get the buttons, you can now actually receive this shipment. So you would just simply hit receive. If you're not getting the buttons, it's because you probably need to fill in a location. It may say required here, okay? And then also, sometimes you won't be able to get the green buttons until you save it. So right up here at the top, hit save now, okay? So now, all we gotta do to receive this is just hit receive shipment, all right? So if I receive, it's gonna receive in this quantity here. Now, you may be asking, well, what if you didn't receive everything? That would be partial receiving, okay? And Finale supports that. How do you do a partial receive? There's another video on how to do a partial receive. But just to, to give you a tip, you would actually just enter in by hand a different quantity than the full amount, okay? Now, also remember, there's an action menu here on your shipment tab. So you can import shipments. There's a video on how to do that. You can print a packing slip for everything that you kind of, it's kind of like a manifest of everything you received. If you're going to do multiple receives or partial receive, you may want to add a new shipment. You can also print receiving labels for everything that you received in, okay, and so on. You can also customize the screen. But let's go ahead and just receive. It's going to ask you for a date. You can backdate it if you need to. Hit receive. Now that we've received it, notice that the status says receive. It's no longer says editable. So it's all gray down here. We can't edit it. So also, if we go back to the purchase order up here, it's going to show that you've got a received shipment. Now that received doesn't mean you received everything necessarily. So remember that. You have to know, did you receive it all at this moment in time? Okay. So if you did receive it all, then you could go back in here and mark it completed. But let's go check our inventory stock levels. Here's our inventory stock level. So notice now we have 1,000 on hand, 15, and 500. And notice if we expand these, that PO doesn't show up here anymore. Okay? So and you can see how it received these into the A5 and into the A3 and these into the A1. So that's how you do a receive shipment against a PO.